Are you just starting out your acting career and wondering, how do I get my foot in the door? I'm going to give you five proven ways to jumpstart your acting career. We are going to talk about acting classes, your reel, your resume, creating your own content, what websites to join, finally, agents and managers. Watch till the end for some extra bonus tips. Following these five proven methods will help you jumpstart your acting career and get you noticed in the industry. Hey you guys, my name is Faith Ferris. I am an actress and a model. I have over 20 years of experience to share with you and help you along your journey. Action! In this wonderful, world of entertainment. Thank you for watching. You can find me on Instagram, Faith Barrett LA, or IMDB under Faith Barrett. It's not imperative for you to get into an acting class, but if you want to take this job seriously, you probably should take some acting classes. Plus, that's where you'll see if you actually enjoy it. There's tons of different acting techniques, so if you go to a class, you can audit classes so you don't have to pay. You can just go and watch and see if that's a class you would like to join. And if you don't like that class, then you just find one that you do like. You're not supposed to eat the lines. You're supposed to memorize the lines. Okay. It means off book, not eat the book. Okay. 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 You know, people learn on the job as you go, and then you can always jump into an acting class. It forces you to work on your craft. If you can't afford acting classes, go find a local community theater group to join. You're going to need a reel and a resume. You can work for free in the beginning just to acquire footage for your reel and to build a resume. You can do background work and just to see what it's like to um, make a movie or just to be on set to see how everybody works and it's fun and if you need to earn some extra money background work is great some people do get bumped up doing background work so it's fun to go there and to learn actor etiquette and you can work with spielberg it's really fun so you can do that but you don't want to get stuck doing that and don't join the union because everybody doing background thinks if they join the union, they're gonna get paid more. There's not enough union work, okay? I made the mistake of joining the union too soon and had to turn down very cool jobs. I had to turn down a job with the BBC to play Princess Diana because my friend who was in the union told me don't do non-union, don't do non-union. Meanwhile, she was doing non-union videos with her friends but told me not to and my, my dumb self listened to her. So be careful who you listen to. Take it from me, you don't wanna join the union too early because then you're gonna be sorry because you're not gonna have a resume and there's not enough union work out there. You're not gonna get paid more doing background, doing union, and then you're gonna have to go five core and then you can't vote and you can't go to the SAG awards. And that's what I had to do. So you don't wanna do that. Do not join the union unless you're a series regular on a TV show or a must join, okay? Because you want to work. And if you're in the union, you can't do non-union work, and how are you gonna build your resume? So don't do it. Creating your own content is a wonderful way to get started as an actor. With social media nowadays, everybody's creating their own content. Then you can skip the audition process because you're going to do a million auditions as an actor. And right now, everything is self-tapes. There's no director, there's no director directing you, and it's so easy for casting directors to ask 500 people for a self-tape. And get this, if you hand your self-tape into a casting director, that doesn't mean that casting director is gonna send your self-tape to the director. So you can be working your butt off, blowing through your savings, sitting at home doing self-tapes for free all day, and they might not even be sending you to the director. Okay, and a lot of jobs, higher up jobs, they already have those parts cast. The casting directors just wanna see what other options are out there. So they're wasting our time. They don't understand that it takes three days to do a really good film audition if you wanna do it really good. Okay, so they love to waste our time. So if you learn to make your own movies, you can skip that whole process, which is what I'm trying to do now because I cannot stand self-tapes. The industry standard is Actors Access. And unfortunately, it's the only one, okay? Actors Access, Showfax is the only website your agents and managers will use to submit you to jobs. 
So you have to join that one. You don't have to join it right now. There are other ways to get work. You can go on Craigslist, but just please be careful. Meet people in public, bring your friends. Don't go to anyone's houses. I have some stories to tell you. That's a different video. Just be careful and use your common sense, okay? Depending on what city you're in, Casting Networks is great in Los Angeles. Um, they have one in New York. They have one in Florida. In all the major cities, they should have look up Casting Networks and see if it's in your city. In Hollywood, it's LA Casting. If you're in New York City, I would go to um, Backstage. Backstage is a great place to, to start. Casting Frontier is great. Uh, if you're in Los Angeles, depending on where you are, you're going to have to do your research in what city you are that has the best acting jobs. But if you go on Casting Networks, they have all kinds of work on there. Music videos, commercials, films, TV shows. It's the best one. That's where I get all my work from, Casting Network. So that's the best. And you're going to want to add as many pictures and video as you can up there. <laughs> headshots. In the beginning, you don't have to have the best quality headshots. You can start with some selfies. You can take your own camera and make some headshots. You can do trade. There's photographers on Craigslist or Instagram that need models. So you can do trade for headshots for free. I had some great headshots that way. And then as you go along, you can invest in higher quality headshots. You don't necessarily need an agent or a manager in the beginning when you're just getting started although it would help. It's easy to get a commercial agent and commercial ag agencies will take anybody, anybody. So you can easily find a commercial agent, send them some selfies, say, you know, you're interested in getting started in acting. You can go on something what's called the call sheet. You can go on backstage. You can join backstage for a month. It's 20 bucks. You can download the call sheet and when you go on there, it gives you the instructions on how to submit to agencies. And here's a big one. Do what they say. If they say no unsolicited material, don't go look for people's emails and try to send them your info because they will blacklist you. Okay, the big agencies, they only work on referrals. And if you try to contact them and give them your info, they will blacklist you. Even though blacklisting is blacklisting is illegal in California, they will blacklist you internally. Okay, so don't do it. Okay, it's less about your talent, more about if you look the part and you can memorize some lines and you're not a fumbling idiot and you're not a stress case and you can read some lines but you look the part, they will hire that person over talent, okay? And that's another thing, like if you're nervous in front of a camera, there's different techniques you can do for that. You can do rest relaxation, like vinyasana, yoga. There's all kinds of techniques you can learn if you're like really nervous in front of a camera. That's a different video, okay? I study with Eric Morris. Eric Morris does a lot of rest and relaxation and warming up, so that's really good. You can look him up. So um, do what the agents say because they're going to take you on and keep you if you conduct yourself correctly. They don't care about talent. You have to make sure you do what they say. You don't send them too many emails. Um, you show up to all your auditions. You confirm all your auditions and you do all your auditions and you don't talk back and you're nice, okay? Because they will fire you <laughs> if you talk back to them, if they don't like you, if you don't answer an email, if you don't confirm your auditions, if you don't do your auditions, they will fire you. Okay, so it's more about how you conduct yourself because people don't want to work with people who are a headache. Okay, so it's more about that than it is about your talent, unfortunately. Okay, and another thing that is important is your social media presence. You want to be neutral. You want to be like the mayor. You don't want to talk about personal things. You don't want to talk about politics and things like that, okay? You want to be nice and neutral, okay? Because if one person doesn't like one little thing about you, next, okay? It doesn't even matter about your talent. I got lucky with a few jobs. I got hired based on my talent. I did a Christina Aguilera music video. I played her mom. That was 
based on my talent because it was a very emotional role. I did the Faithful Brethren of Pitt Street. It was a very emotional role. So it was based on my talent. Thank God there are a few things, you know, in this town that they care about your talent, but mostly it's more about your look and can you speak a few lines, okay? It's a very strange, funny time where everybody would love to be able to be themselves, but they can't because they must fall in line with the person in front of them. A good manager is better to go to in the beginning because a manager is gonna help you, a good manager, if you're lucky to get a good manager. I wasted seven years of my life with a manager who did nothing. So a different story, okay? Don't waste your time or your life, okay? Get a manager that's going to help you with the day-to-day -day stuff like getting headshots, picking out photos, picking out video, getting you work. It also helps, a manager can also have the submissions so that they can submit you to the breakdowns now so they can do that as well. I never had that. So a manager is better to get when you first start out. I actually, um, an agent from CAA actually gave me this advice. I used to just give people to agents, but it's actually better. She told me it's actually better if you get a manager because they will, and it's true now because I have a really good manager who's hands on with me and helps me with all my auditions because you're gonna have to get a reader for your auditions. And I hate bothering people. I hate bothering people. No one wants to work for free. So my manager's helping with me with all my auditions, like reading and stuff like that. So that's why it's good to have a good manager. And then get a commercial agent. Theatrical agents are harder to get because there's less money in that. If you can find an agent that will take you across the board, that's wonderful. Okay, that's what you want. And you don't have to have just one agency. You can have multiple agencies because some agencies might be new. They might not have their stuff together. They might not have the breakdowns. They might not have somebody submitting the breakdowns. You want somebody who's going to be submitting you actively to the breakdowns on time. Okay, on time. They'll say, oh, and, and they people lie. Okay, they might not have anybody submitting you. They might not have the breakdowns, but meanwhile, you have this agency and you're just sitting there and your life is floating by. Okay, meanwhile, you're not getting any auditions. So, yes, <laughs> that's why I'm a big fan of submitting myself. Okay, I book a lot of jobs myself. Um, you can have multiple, don't sign exclusively with anybody until you know that you're going to get auditions from them. And if you're not getting auditions, ask them why in a nice way. And maybe they'll give you some constructive feedback. And if you do it and you're still not getting auditions, bye. I fire my people. If I'm not getting auditions, if you don't get me one audition a week, bye. Something's wrong. Okay? So, sayonara. I'm, I'm, don't, don't waste my time. Okay? People are not honest and they're not going to tell you the truth. They're not going to tell you, oh, we don't have anybody submitting you to the breakdowns. We don't even have the breakdowns. So you're just on our roster in case you book something. We're just going to collect that money. That's what most people want to do. So be careful. Get, and, and you want to get a manager who's with like a management company who that's their job, you know, is to go out of their way to pitch you to um, casting. I don't have that. I don't have a manager or an agency going out of their way to pitch me to casting directors and TV shows and networks and things like that. But that's what you want. Here's a great book from one of my acting coaches, Eric Morris. Any book from Eric Morris is phenomenal, but it helps if you learn the acting techniques hands on in class. Reading the book, you might get confused about the techniques and things that they teach. So it's probably better to go in person if you're very serious then you should care about the craft of acting and you should do it because of the craft of acting, not because you wanna get rich and famous, okay? That's not why I do it. I do it because I love the craft of acting. You're welcome. Don't party and do drugs. Don't get caught up in that whole party lifestyle. You have to be professional because your reputation is everything. You're, it's more about your reputation and how you conduct yourself than it is about talent. So that stuff is more important. So be professional. I hope that helps. Leave me some comments down below if this was helpful. If you liked it, like my video, subscribe please. And um, leave comments if you want to learn anything else. If there's any other info I could share with you, you know, what acting classes to go to, things like that, anything you want to know, any videos you want to see, drop it in the comments. Thank you so much.